Hey guys, Centerline Combat Arts. Just doing a little more guerrilla filming out in the alley. This is my student, Jeff. What I want to talk about is points of equilibrium. So there's, uh, an object can be in, in three states of equilibrium. One is equilibrium. One is very stable. One is, is neutral where, uh, you know, when force acts upon it, it's going to move uh, relative to that force. And then one where there's uh, unstable equilibrium. If you imagine trying to balance like one marble on top of another, any force makes it fall over. So I'm just going to have Jeff get in Big Ma. Okay, give me a good Lan Sao. So from this position, he's very strong. Go ahead and sink. He's very strong, it's hard to move him. Now I could use my athleticism and my power and drive straight through. So that's, that's one way to perform Wing Chun. Okay, that's, that's one way that uh, we have the opportunity, we can produce uh, enough force to drive through and uh, basically break his alignment and knock him over. The second thing, same, same position, is, is where his equilibrium is a little more neutral. It's obviously very strong here, but as I play with it and shift him, now there's a point where I can easily step through and break him. And uh, for expediency in combat and chi style, that's what a lot of us use. We're working with an opponent or a partner and we find a position not where they're uh, completely stable nor where they're just gonna fall over under pressure and we move through them or we press them. And that, uh, that happens a lot. But that third state, that, that very unbalanced equilibrium is, is something that we can play with. And sometimes we have to start playing slow but then once we find it, we can really uh, start to take advantage of it in application. So he's going to take the same position. So here he's very stable. Here as I rotate him and lift him a little bit, he's more neutral. And then if I can cross him, now he has almost nothing, right? If I draw him forward a little bit and twist him, there's nothing there. Or if I elevate and twist, See, so in four directions, I can find that place of, of no equilibrium where he, he can't balance himself out. Uh, now, unlike a marble, which is completely round and will roll around, the body has certain areas where if I move directly into him or try to push him to the side, he's very strong. So a lot of this play, for instance, in Chi Sao, I might set up a strike and then manipulate the body enough that it's very easy then uh, to move him off of his base. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's something we've been working on. Uh, send me some comments and feedback on what you think. Thanks.